The Cajun, making the boss. He's the boss of making bagels. Mm. Chef Brennan Swallow, owner of Boss Bagel over there in Alamo Heights, is here. And wow, the bagels are fantastic. I mean, and I've never Thank seen so a much. black and orange bagel before. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, we're doing a lot of crazy uh, chef-inspired, eclectic, crazy stuff, for sure. And this is on top of your how many flavors? Uh, 18 varieties of bagels, uh, 26 schmears, and 14 sandwiches. <laughs> That's, that's and these the, are wood-fired bagels, right? They're wood-fired. It's the only wood-fired in uh, in the state of Texas. I believe there's only six, to my knowledge, in the country. Okay, so we have got a slab of dough right here. Hmm. What are we going to do to make a bagel? Okay, so. so I thought I'd show you how to roll a bagel because our bagels are hand-rolled, which is is unique in its own. It, all the shapes are kind of different. So the dough is made mm -hmm. like a, a kind of a normal dough, except it's a very tough, strenuous dough. You, you put the dough out on the table in the mornings. We get there at 1 o'clock. Shift starts at 1. It's a beauty. Wow, you're earlier than us. Oh, it's yeah. beauty, man. It's a beauty. <laughs> Try hiring for that shift. That's I wonderful. <laughs> so we cut these longer strips yeah. like, a, like a noodle kind of off of the big lump of dough. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to try. The least you work the dough, the better luck you're going to have at it. The more you work it, the more gluten gets developed, and it gets tough. It gets okay. rubbery. But you said that's what makes a bagel different than regular bread because it does have a lot of gluten in there it, in that chew. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, it's and that's what yeah. creates the chew. But we you retard it overnight, which softens it. So oh. then you're going to roll it into about a quarter in diameter size, a long mm -hmm. snake. The snake, put your hand over the snake, roll it around your hand mm -hmm. where your thumb meets your pinky. You're going to snap it off there, and then you're going to use the heel of your hand to gently seal that up. All right, and then what a, a little patented technique of mine is you give it a little pop like that and pinch, pinch that, seal that up right when you pop it, and there you have a bagel right and, there. And there you have it. And the interesting thing is. Let's cut you a fresh piece. Let's see okay. how you do. Oh, yeah. We got to get you. You got to get the real thing. And the interesting thing is to make a really, really good bagel, that does not go in the oven right away. No, no. That goes as boiled in uh, New York, it uses wa malt water. Uh, Montreal uses honey water. And because uh, we are have a strong vegan. Uh, presence in this town, and I've okay. noticed at the shop we're going to use agave. Oh, really? Yes. So we're so going to, that way we can serve vegans our bagels now. So it's boiled first. Correct. Then it is baked in the wood fired up. That's so. correct. Okay, you got so it. Wait, you grab it? Hand right over the top. Hand right over the top. Yep. Now spin your hand around. Spin your you hand around. You got it. Thumb in the pinky, Thumb pinch the right pinky. there. Pull. Pinch right there. Use the heel of your hand. Hey, you're pretty daggum good. <laughs> One o'clock. So hey, what time do you guys start? <laughs> he can what, come in before he comes what, here. Yeah, <laughs> what time do you start? <laughs> yeah, I can have him come at one. I'll get, I'll get up an extra couple hours. Or... <laughs> you got <laughs> it, brother. That's beautiful. Look at, that. beautiful. Yeah, look at mine. Look at yours. I need to buy a bagel for that. So. Yeah, there you, you go. That's well. your prize. You did well. Okay, now we're going to do the now we're gonna make schmear. Very good. you okay. got to have schmear. schmear. you got to say schmear when you put it together. And what is a schmear? Schmear is... Cream cheese with something else smashed into it. Or you can have a plain schmear. Okay. It can be plain. Okay. That's kind of what a schmear is. So we're going to take some uh, cream cheese. Mm -hmm. And we're going to pop it into a food processor. Okay. Uh, if you have a uh, KitchenAid at home, the paddle works really, really well. Okay. And, and this can, is a special kind of schmear. Yeah. We're going to flavor this, right? Absolutely. So when we make, when I make a, de a bagel or create a special bagel, I try to use a seasonal uh, product, something that's uh, available now, mm -hmm. and um, that will go pair with the bagel as well. So this is candy corn. Since that's a Halloween bagel, we're going to do a little candy corn inside the uh, schmear. A okay. little bit of Madagascar vanilla. Easy does it. It's strong. A little bit of 10x oh, yeah. sugar. I would have Some, never had thought of having such a sweet yeah, on top of on a bagel. Sweet, yeah. 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 Sweet well, on top of sweet. It's Halloween. It's yes. Halloween. Okay. All right. Then you want to whip it around. Okay. Go ahead, whip it around. Emulsify it. It just mixes the flavors together. And we do a roasted poblano schmear. We do uh, roasted, roasted red pepper. Uh, that's incredible. Yeah. Try that next time you come. We oh, do a blueberry yeah. schmear. We do a strawberry schmear. I mean, good? I've done all kinds of schmears. And this, my next kit tip to you is that when you're going to make this schmear, that's good. Yeah. When you're going to make the schmear, we do a schnicker schmear. Oh, oh. God. <laughs> Seriously. Back on your Twix thing. So yeah. when you're going to make this schmear, Make it and then let it rest in the fridge a day or two because you notice how this one's kind of different than mm -hmm. the other, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's because that candy corn has melted and it creates that Halloween kind of, you know, that flavor and that color comes out a little more. You want to try? Yeah. You think? <laughs> 
And so now I have one cut for you. Okay. And so we put three ounces oh, wow. on our on our bagels. You come in and you order a bagel. We offer you steam, toasted, or natural. In New York, they would never toast. They would kick you out of the store if you said toasted, believe me. But we will toast. We put three ounces of schmear on a bagel. Woo! We top it off and put it in a little cookie wrapper. And on your way, you go. In your car, and you from, go. From sweet... Yeah. <laughs> Eat it while you're driving. You're right here. Seriously. It's from sweet to savory. And this is your other Halloween bagel. This is yeah. made with, believe it or not, the black in there is... It's squid ink. We did a, I did a squid ink bagel. Mm -hmm. uh, homemade in-house cured gravlax. We did a homemade uh, seaweed salad, Tobiko caviar. We have a wasabi schmear on the top, and the bottom is a Tobiko caviar schmear. So it's kind of a play on sushi. This is what I dream about when I sleep, man. I'm, I'm insane. <laughs> and then wakes up really, really early. So yeah. it's over there. Boss Bagel All in two Sunset hours Ridge. To sleep. Uh, shopping area right there on North New Braunfels. And for more information, go to SALive.com. I, I just want to give you guys a couple of mugs. Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt you. you. But uh, we offer fantastic coffee as well. And and that's 25% off of any drip coffee or any coffee classic drink when you come in. Look at that. Enjoy. It's a pleasure. Thank you so pleasure. Much. Pleasure, thank pleasure you, meeting you all.